Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. And cheers. Let's see how many people are here. Looks like seven people to me so far. Nine. Hello, Sarah, um, David D, Kirsty Taran, John, Lisa, Bravo, Bravo Zulu. Hi, Jerry. Face just downstairs, gabbing on the phone. She'll be up in a minute, I'm sure. Chills. What's everyone been up to then? We had a cooked breakfast. Very nice. No, no roast dinner though. We'll have a Monday roast. Working. Oh, sheesh, sheesh. <sighs> ah, young Philip. How are you getting on with your house buying, Kirsty? Very nice picnic the corner down. I sat in the deck chair for, uh, for about an hour. Oh, exciting. Very exciting. Live. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah, Monty did keep his company in the garden. He's laying in the sun. It's a bit special. Oh, brilliant. All coming together then on the old house move. Very nice. Hi, Layla. Hi. <laughs> Jerry's in there as well. Hi, Jerry. Well, that's all right. We we haven't started yet. We're just about to get going. Um, right, so we've ticked on to uh, one minute past seven. So uh, let's get going. Uh, round number one is 2010. 2010. Question one. What piece of technology was unveiled by Apple in this year? What piece of technology was unveiled by Apple in this year? Question two, which Indian cricketer scores the first double century in one day cricket in this year? So in 2010, which Indian cricketer scores the first double century in one day cricket? Sorry, John.
Question three, uh, in this year, a major volcano eruption caused chaos for air travel. In which country was this volcano? A major volcano eruption caused chaos for air travel. In which country was this vo volcano? <laughs> Is it, yeah, when, yes, it's that, it's that, exactly that one. We've got, we've got a terrible comedian from the uh, 70s called Jiminy Cricket as well. <laughs> Question four. Um, so we're still on 2010. Uh, the deep water horizon rig exploded. Which oil company was blamed for this disaster? The deep water horizon rig exploded. Which oil company was blamed for this disaster? The new ones are quite good, really, because you can find stuff that happened in the years. Mm. <clears throat> and question five. 33 miners who were trapped underground for 69 days were rescued. In which country did this happen? 33 miners who were trapped underground for 69 days were rescued. In which country did this happen? Hi Trish, you all right? Hello Andy. Did you catch any of that first round? Right, round two is lyrics, um, but which song? So I shall read you some lyrics. I'm not going to sing them. Uh, and you just tell me uh, which song. Um, we can do it as a, as, a, as a half. We can do it as a half a point for the song, half a point for the artist. Ah, hello. hello, Barbara. Mm -hmm. So you've missed, you've missed the first round, have you? Mm -hmm. Barbara. Uh, <laughs> right, I shall rattle through. If you've missed the first one, I'll rattle through the first round very quickly. So it was 2010. So it was everything that happened in 2010. No, no, no. We're getting, you know, don't need to go down by five points. You'd be ever so upset. <laughs> right, so 2010. Question one What piece of technology was unveiled by Apple in this year? Number two, which Indian cricketer scores the first double century in one day cricket? Number three, a major volcano eruption caused chaos for air travel. In which country was this volcano? The deep water horizon rig exploded. Which oil company was blamed for this disaster? And then number five. 33 miners who were trapped underground for 69 days were rescued. In which country did this happen? There's your round one, 2010. Right, the lyrics, here we go. Um, so half for the song title, half for the artist. Um, it's five questions, so total of maximum of five uh, points. Um, number one, 
she played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English man. She played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English man. That's number one. Oh no. You've got to you've got to piece them together in your head. Because that gives it away, that gives another dimension, doesn't it? Because you've got the tune. <laughs> in a single at the end. <laughs> <laughs> But you should be getting that one, Layla. Definitely. <laughs> Number two, I met a gin-soaked barroom queen in Memphis. She tried to take me upstairs for a ride. I met a gin-soaked barroom queen in Memphis. She tra tried to take me upstairs for a ride. <laughs> David and Dee, very exciting news for you today. No audio this week. No audio. Does Faye know what? The first one? Probably. The second one? No, because she sort of went, oh. So uh, <laughs> I say no, she didn't know the second one. <laughs> Question three. Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind, thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. Boy, what you done, Dave? Number four, remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. And number five, just a small town girl living in a lonely world. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. You know what? You just can't. Some people you just can't please, can you? <laughs> anyway, it's only five questions. Five questions. Five little questions. I think you won it last week, anyway. So, I'm surprised you're lucky you haven't got a handicap. Right. <laughs> Next round is animals. Animals. Question one: How many hearts does an octopus have? How many hearts does an octopus have? Question two, what can a tiger and a puma do that a cheetah cannot? What can a tiger and a puma do that a cheetah cannot?
Question three, true or false, hamsters can blink each eye independently. True or false, hamsters can blink each eye independently. Question four, hooded and carrion are varieties of which bird? Hooded and carrion are varieties of which bird? Okay, next one. Um, question five. Uh, which animal produces mohair? Which animal produces mohair? And question six, what is the name given to a baby kangaroo? What is the name given to a baby kangaroo? Right, next round is uh, the sea, the sea. Question one, the Great Barrier Reef is located in which sea? The Great Barrier Reef is located in which sea? Uh, five again. Five was. Which animal produces mohair? Mohair. Question number two of the sea. Uh, can you name the smallest and shallowest of the five oceans? Can you name the smallest and shallowest of the five oceans? oceans. Welcome. Question three, what was the name of the steam launch in C.S. Forrester's novel, which was later turned into a successful film? What was the name of the steam launch in C.S. Forrester's novel, which was later turned into to a successful film?
Question four, who is the Roman God of the sea? Who is the Roman God of the sea? Most of these questions are an education for me as well. So if you don't know the answer, just see it as an education. Question five, what noun describes a fast pirate ship often operating with official sanction? What noun describes a fast pirate ship often operating with official sanction? And number six, what is Captain Hook's pirate ship called? What is Captain Hook's pirate ship called? Right, the last round of the first half uh, is around the world, around the world. Question one, which European city had the most tourists in 2019? Which European city had the most tourists in 2019? Question two, what is the world's northernmost capital city? What is the world's northernmost capital city? Question three, what is the second largest country in the world by area? What is the second largest country in the world by area? Question four, if you list the world's countries in alphabetical order, what is the second? If you list the world's countries in alphabetical order, what is the second? Question five, 
Machu Picchu can be found in which country? Machu Picchu can be found in which country? This week? No. Yeah, the only one I had to say from before was um, was a bit British. Oh, okay. So. Uh, oh, leave that one. Yeah, I had to lift it. Question five: In which European city would you find? No, start again. Question six. Apologies. Question six: In which European city? <coughs> COVID. Um, in which European city would you find the Spanish steps? In which European city would you find the Spanish steps? And question seven, the Grand Canyon can be found in which U.S. state? The Grand Canyon can be found in which U.S. state? Right, well, that's the first half done. So let's do the answers and let's see where we are. So the first round 2010, uh, the piece of technology unveiled by Apple in this year, that was the iPad, the iPad. The Indian cricketer that scored the first double century in one day cricket, Sachin Tendulkar, Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, the, the major volcano eruption was in Iceland. The Deepwater Horizon exploded. Uh, BP were blamed for the disaster. BP. And 33 miners trapped underground were rescued. This happened in Chile. Chile. Right, the lyrics. Um, but which song? So you've got a half for the song title, half for the artist. She played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English man. That was Galway Girl by Ed Sheeran. I met a gin-soaked barroom queen in Memphis. She tried to take me upstairs for a ride. That was Honky Tonk Woman by Rolling Stones. Honky Tonk Woman, Rolling Stones. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind, thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. That's Human by Rag and Bone Man. Remember to let her into your heart, then you can start to make it better. That's Hey Jude, and that's the Beatles. And finally, just a small town girl living in a lonely world. That's Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Right, on to the animals. Um, an octopus has got three hearts. Um, a tiger and a puma what can they do that a cheetah cannot retract its claws so a cheetah cannot retract its claws tiger and a puma can um it is true that hamsters can blink each eye independently number four hooded and carrion are varieties of crow uh the angora goat produces mohair produces you've got a goat that's fine and uh, baby kangaroo is a joey. Right, on to the sea. Um, the Great Barrier Reef is located in the Coral Sea, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, the smallest and shallowest of the five oceans is the Arctic Ocean. The name of the steam launch in C.S. Forrester's novel, that's the African Queen. The Roman god of the sea, is Neptune. 
the noun that describes a fast pirate ship is a corsair. Corsair. And Captain Hook's pirate ship is called the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger. Right around the world, um, the European city that had the most tourists in 2019 that was London. But the world's northernmost capital is Reykjavik in Iceland. The second largest country in the world by area is Canada. If you list the world's countries in alphabetical order, the one that is second is Albania. Albania. Machu Picchu can be found in Peru. The Spanish steppes, you would find them in Rome. And the Grand Canyon can be found in Arizona. So, maximum of 30, there's 34 points on offer. Did anyone get anywhere close? I reckon we've got a few mid 20s. Yeah, so we're anywhere sort of halfway is pretty decent. Yeah, yes. very good, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Well done, Barbara. Well done, Thomas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're just one, though. Just one wee person, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, John. It's all, it's all, it's all, there's going to be some strong ones for you. I'm absolutely sure of it. Mm -hmm. Right, um, so second half is um, starts with an art and literature round, art and literature. Um, I think that will, yeah, we'll make that one an eight-pointer. So that would be 37. Right. So, question one. Um, what are the names of the three darling children, darling children, in J.M. Barry's Peter Pan? You can have a point for each. So, what are the name of the three children, the darling children, in J.M. Barry's Peter Pan? Question two, what is the first name of Professor McGonagall in the Harry Potter books? What is the first name of Professor McGonagall in the Harry Potter books? Okay. Okay. A little bit for me. Just a little bit. That's it. Just a little bit. Question three, I tested this one on face, you didn't get it right either. So, uh, Celeste is a shade of which primary colour? Celeste is spelled C-E-L-E-S-T-E. -E -E. Celeste is a shade of which primary colour?
Question four. Which English painter, born in Liverpool in 1724, was best known for his paintings of horses, such as Whistlejacket, which hangs in London's National Gallery? Which English painter, born in Liverpool 1724, was best known for his paintings of horses, such as Whistlejacket, which hangs in London's National Gallery? Question five, which 1930 painting by Grant Wood depicts a farmer holding a pitchfork and standing in front of a building alongside a woman assumed to be his wife? Which 1930 painting by Grant Wood depicts a farmer holding a pitchfork and standing in front of a building alongside a woman assumed to be his wife? Right, um, moving on uh, to a history round. History. Question one, which shipbuilding company constructed the Titanic? Which shipbuilding company constructed the Titanic? Question two, which type of British fighter plane shot down 1,294 enemy aircraft in World War One? Which type of British fighter plane shot down 1,294 enemy aircraft in World War One? Question three, in which city was JFK assassinated? In which city was John F. Kennedy assassinated? Question four, who commanded the Confederate armies during the American Civil War? Who commanded the Confederate armies during the American Civil War?
question five who shot lee harvey oswald the assassin of jfk who shot lee harvey oswald the assassin of jfk Um, I'm, I mean the army, uh, the Confederate armies, who commanded the Confederate armies. I don't know if that is the same thing as the Army of North Virginia. I apologise. My, my, my friend John might know. Is it the same thing, John? <laughs> we thought it was. <laughs> is it the same thing, John? Or is it something different? You can put them in their place. They, they take it quite well. <laughs> anyway, while that's being pondered upon, um, the last... The last question. Um, which French port belonged to England between 1347 and 1558. Which French port belonged to England between 1347 and 1558? Right, the next round is on publishing. Publishing. Question one, what does the acronym ISPN stand for? India Sierra Papa November. What does the acronym ISPN stand for? obviously in publishing terms. I think you might pick up a few points here, John. I might catch them up. Question two, uh, in advertising, what is the rate card? In advertising, what is the rate card? <laughs> always, 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 yes. Question three, what is the recognized term for a book made available in digital form? What is the recognized term for a book made available in digital form?
<laughs> Question four. The oldest surviving daily newspaper is called Wiener Zeitung, running since 1703. But which country does it hail from? The oldest surviving daily newspaper is called Wiener Zeitung, running since 1703. But which country does it hail from? <laughs> And question five, what is the job title of question three? Oh, you're here, are you? Bravo. Nice to see you. I thought you might show up when I'm doing around on publishing. Uh, number three, what is the recognised term for a book made available in digital form? What is the recognised term for a book made available in digital form? It's a nice, easy one for all those people with their Kindles, isn't it? Nice, easy one. And question five. What is the job title for the person responsible for managing the stories, articles and content in a publication? What is the job title for the person responsible for managing the stories, articles and content in a publication. Right, moving swiftly on to sport. Sport. Question one, uh, in which year did American football star Tom Brady win his first Super Bowl with the New England Patriots? I should bloody hope so, Steve. Question one, in which year did American football star Tom Brady win his first Super Bowl with the New England Patriots? Trisha, is that to do is that because of the sport upcoming round or the outgoing publishing round? Question two, which international team currently sits top of the FIFA men's world rankings ranking? So this is football. Uh, which international team currently sits top? of the FIFA men's world rankings. This is as of April 2020. Oh, yes. Well, there's only six questions and you've benefited, profited it in the other ones. But Andy was like a whiz in the art, wasn't he? Question three, who is the last non-British, non-German Formula One driver to win the world driver's title? So we're looking for the last non-British, non-German Formula One driver to win the world driver's title. But don't worry, Trish, because I've got a 50-50 coming up. 50-50. And that 50-50 is question four. Who has won more Grand Slam tennis titles? Serena Williams or Roger Federer? Who has won more Grand Slam tennis titles? Serena Williams or Roger Federer?
Question five. In which sport do competitors refer to catching a crab? In which sport do competitors refer to catching a crab? And question six, complete the name of the current NBA champions, Toronto blank. Complete the name of the current NBA champions, Toronto blank. They've all got names like the Miami Heat and Chicago Bulls. So if you think it's Toronto Fishmongers, that's what you put in there. Mm -hmm. Have a guess. Right, uh, moving on. This is a connections round. So uh, questions one to six will help you with the connection, which is number seven. So. Question one, which Coldplay singer-songwriter married Gwyneth Paltrow in 2003? Which Coldplay singer-songwriter married Gwyneth Paltrow in 2003? Question two, who is the first Disney princess and the first fictional female character with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Who is the first Disney princess and the first fictional female character with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Mm -hmm. Question three, what is the SI unit of force? What is the SI unit of force? Question four, which economist was the first Scotsman to feature on an English banknote? Which economist was the first Scotsman to feature on an English banknote? Not easy, that one. Question five, in which American city would you find Little Italy? In which American city would you find Little Italy? Question six, which circa 14th century Swiss patriot who rallied his country against the Austrians is the subject of a Rossini opera? Which circa 14th century Swiss patriot who rallied his country against the Austrians is the subject of a Rossini opera? And number seven is what's the connection? What is the connection? of the answers one to six.
Right, and the final round is TV and film. TV and film. And just five questions. Because I know you don't watch the TV. A lot of you. Um, question one. Um, one of the best films of 2016, starring Amy Adams as a linguist, called in to decipher communications from mysterious extraterrestrial beings. What was the film? Um, this film is one of the best films of 2016 and starred Amy Adams as a linguist called in to decipher communications from mysterious extraterrestrial beings. What was the film called? Number two should be a nice, straightforward one for you. Um, Ted Danson played a demon in the TV series The Good Place. But in which long-running comedy did he become famous? So Ted Danson played a demon in the TV series The Good Place. But in which, watch, in which long-running comedy did he become famous? Question three, which 1985 film directed by Joel Schumacher centers around seven Georgetown graduates? Which 1985 film directed by Joel Schumacher centers around seven Georgetown graduates? Mm -hmm. Question four, directed by John Hughes, which 1985 film starring Anthony Michael Hall was his third following 16 Candles and The Breakfast Club? Directed by John Hughes, which 1985 film starring Anthony Michael Hall was his third following 16 Candles and The Breakfast Club? And the last question for this quiz, which American actor starred alongside Kim Basinger in the film Nine and a Half Weeks? Which American actor starred alongside Kim Basinger in the film Nine and a Half Weeks? Right. OK, so. Let's do the answers for the second half and see where everybody is. So art and literature. Um, this was a point for each. The three darling children uh, in Jay and Barry's Peter Pan, Wendy, John and Michael, Wendy, John and Michael. Uh, Professor McGonagall's first name was Minerva. Minerva. Um, Celeste is a shade of blue. The English painter, uh, best known for his paintings of horses, George Stubbs. George Stubbs. If you've got Stubbs, it's fine. Uh, the 1930 painting by Grant Wood, uh, that's American Gothic. American Gothic. Right, history. Uh, the shipbuilding company that constructed the Titanic. Harland and Wolf, Harland and Wolf in Northern Ireland, uh, the type of British fighter plane that shot down the enemy aircraft in World War One is the Sopworth Camel, the Sopworth Camel, 
JFK was assassinated in Dallas. Uh, the commander of the Confederate armies was General Robert E. Lee. General Robert E. Lee. Um, it was Jack Ruby. Yes, the first set of the answers. Um, so the art and literature. Um, the three children in J.M. Barry's Peter Pan, you were looking for Wendy, John and Michael. And you get a point for each of those. Wendy, John and Michael. Uh, Professor McGonagall's first name was Minerva. Celeste is a shade of blue. Uh, the painter, um, best known for his horses, that's George Stubbs, but Stubbs is fine. And the 1930 painting by Grant Wood, American Gothic, American Gothic. The history again, the shipbuilding company constructed the Titanic, Harland and Wolf. The British fighter plane for the World War I, the Sopworth Camel, no problem. Uh, JFK assassinated in Dallas. Um, the Confederate Army's uh, commander, General Robert E. Lee. Jack Ruby shot Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald. Um, and the French port that belonged to England was Calais. Right, publishing. Um, the acronym ISPN stands for International Standard Book Number. Every book has got their own unique number. Every magazine, everything. So uh, that's International Standard Book Number. Um, in advertising, what is the rate card? The rate card is the price list for the different advertising options available. It's simply the price list. Um, the recognized term for a book made available in digital form is an ebook or an ele electronic book. Ebook or electronic book. Um, the oldest surviving daily newspaper, Wiener Zeitung, um, it hails from Austria. And the job title for the person responsible for managing the stories, articles, and content in a publication, that is the editor. Very important, man. Very important. You must bow or curtsy, depending on, mm. you know, uh, when you see them. Always call them sir or, or ma'am. Uh, right. Sport. Um, it was 2002 when the Tom Brady won his first Super Bowl with the New England Patriots. The team that sits top of the FIFA men's world rankings, that is Belgium. Uh, the last non-British, non-German Formula One driver to win the world driver's title, Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen. And who has more Grand Slam tennis titles, Serena Williams or Roger Federer? That is Serena Williams. Um, Competitors catch a crab in rowing, catch a crab in rowing. And the uh, the NBA champions, Toronto Raptors, Raptors, Toronto Raptors, not the Toronto Fishmongers. Sorry if I led you down the garden path there. Um, right, connections. Uh, the Coldplay singer-songwriter married Gwyneth Paltrow, Chris Martin. The first Disney princess and the first female female first fictional female character with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Snow White. The SI unit of force is called a Newton. The economist that was the first Scotsman to feature on English banknote, it was Adam Smith. Little Italy can be found in New York. And the 14th century Swiss patriot who rallied this country against the Austrians, that was William Tell. And the connection is apple apple chris martin gave his daughter the unusual name of apple snow white ate a poison apple newton famously observed the falling apple uh, adam's apple um new york is the big apple william tell obviously shot an apple office so there you go apple apple um right moving on tv and film one of the best films of 2016 starring amy adams um that was called arrival arrival um, Ted Danson became famous in the show Cheers, Cheers, uh, the 1985 film directed by Joel Schumacher that centres around seven Georgetown graduates is St. Elmo's Fire, St. Elmo's Fire, 
Number four, directed by John Hughes, the 1985 film starred Michael, Anthony Michael Hall was his third following 60. That was Weird Science. Weird Science. And the American actor that starred alongside Kim Basinger in nine and a half weeks, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. So I think that uh, with all the totting up, the, the whole quiz is out of 71. 71. So someone's probably somewhere up there in the high 50s, I reckon. Anyone made 50? Good score, though. Oh, Nicola. Very good scores, though. That's all close. Nothing wrong with 34, Layla. Nothing wrong. And next week, all the content could suit you down to the ground, couldn't it? Strong, strong comeback there, John. It's not bad, Labo. Not bad. You can't take credit, Barbara. Oh, he oh. is a clever stick, isn't he? Uh -huh. It's that big head he's got. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, again, thank you ever so much, everybody, for coming. It's much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, I guess we'll see you same time next week. Mm -hmm. And I'll keep jigging around the round so that, you know, the stuff that works for some that doesn't work for others. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's only one round, isn't it? Nice to see you guys anyway. Yeah, see you later. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> Have a good week ahead. And we'll uh, catch up with you soon. Lots of love to everyone. Yeah.